Hello Aries and welcome to your horoscope for the time of Sun in Pisces. That is February 18th through March 20th, 2015. And usually Aries, I go into all of the details of all the planetary shifts and there was so much this month that I actually did a separate video about that. So you can check out the Pisces overview video or you can also tune into the daily horoscopes where I go a lot more into detail. But I do want to make a few dates known. So Pisces begins and ends on new moons. On the first day of Pisces, February 18th, we have a new moon in Aquarius. Three minutes before the sun shifts into Pisces. I think that's a really cool energy bridging this gap between Aquarius and Pisces. And then on March 20th, the first day of Aries, we have a new moon in Pisces that bridges the gap between Pisces and Aries. So we're beginning and ending with this intentional magic and also really finding that flow, which I think is going to be important for you this month. I do want to mention that for you guys, very interesting, you Aries, Mars, your ruling planet, is coming into your sign on February 19th, which might bring a little like <clears throat> into your 12th house. And then Venus joins Mars on February 20th. And then they are conjunct each other on February 21st. And Venus and Mars can be kind of opposite. It can either be, you know, like that tug of war or they can come together beautifully. So I think part of your flow, since this is happening in your sign, part of your flow needs to be finding that flow, that balance between your inner masculine and your inner feminine. And I think if we can do that, I think our chances of relationships being much smoother during this time of Mars and Aries coming together. So, Aries, you are in your 12th house this month, and the 12th house is a time of surrender and flow. It is the Pisces house. You get the authentic house, you know, every month. And so, this month, um, it is really a time of letting go. You know, you as Aries love to dive in, full speed ahead, and instead, it's a time of kind of like holding back and allowing the motion of the river to take you wherever it is that you need, you need to go. It's a time of, instead of doing it yourself, calling on miracles. It's a time of finding compassion, you know, compassion for others when, you know, sometimes you can be very Marsy, very <laughs> like, you're displeasing me. <laughs> it's time to find, like, where can I have compassion and empathy for others? Where can I have compassion and empathy for myself? It's a time of surrender, not escaping, not running the other way, but instead surrendering to allowing what is to be. And it's a time of connection and recognizing your connection to the all that is. And I think when we stop and tune into the connection of all that is, the connection of spirit, we really allow the magical into our lives. And we that's a time, I really think, of miracles coming into fruition. I think sometimes for miracles to come into our life, we do need to stop and stop pushing. You know, and I'm a fire sign. I get it. Like, we're like, push, 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 go, 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 do, do, do. Like, here we go. <laughs> and it's a time instead of, hey, universe, what do you have in mind for me? Your little mantra this month, actually, Aries, is I flow with magic. And so stop and smell the magic. <laughs> Stop and see the magic. Be on the lookout for fairies. This is a very intuitive and in tune time for you, Aries. But you need to, like, pull back with that. It can also be a time, you know, 12th house can also be kind of a difficult time. It can be a karmic time. You know, it's the end of your year before your birthday period. And so... Sometimes things come up that we don't necessarily like. This is where we call in the miracles. This is where we call in the magic. And I do sometimes theorize that our next year kind of goes depending on how we are able to flow with anything that comes up during our 12th house time. So be willing to be present with whatever is. Love it. Hold compassion for it. And call in miracles and healing for it. And, you know, there's big healing energy in in the sign of Pisces right now. So that's very available to you. So Aries, I pulled you two cards and I think they really represent the energy of the 12th house. The first card is the Shadow Queen. And this is just saying, hey, things may come up 
move forward carefully. You know, don't don't move too quickly in the darkness. Sometimes you've got to be still and listen and listen to the guides that are coming, you know, and bringing you right through the shadow. And if you're able to do that, we go into the rainbow print, which is compensation and perseverance and saying, you know, in order to have rainbows, sometimes there needs to be a little bit of rain. So go through those tough times. Know that they're not going to last forever, especially when your birthday comes. You know, the 12th house is really, it's a really interesting thing. Pay attention to the, like the month right before your birthday, up until your birthday. And it's like there's almost this switch that happens. And it goes from like, oh, my God, why is everything happening like this? And I don't understand. And it's hard to, ah, oh, rebirth. And that's just, you know, the cycle of life and death that we go through every year, which is, you know, part of the astro. So find your way into your surrender. Know there is a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow with your birthday period coming up in Aries. And have a beautiful 12th house. Find your flow, Aries. You don't have to make this happen. You can allow this to happen. Namaste.